In your lab, bad moths dragged for another cosmetic surgery gone wrong. Hello, my amazing fam. Welcome back to my channel. Please do subscribe if you're here to and turn on bell notification for amazing videos. A week ago, a beautiful influencer lost her life during the process of BBL. And this week again, another has gone after gastric bypass surgery. Before we continue, let me take my minutes to explain to you what gastric bypass surgery is all about and why this procedure is even carried out in the first place now gastric bypass surgery is a type of weight loss surgery that involves creating a small pouch from the stomach and connecting the newly created pouch directly to the small intestine after gastric bypass surgery, swallowed food goes into the small pouch of the stomach and directly into the small intestine, thereby bypassing most parts of the stomach and the first section of the small intestine. You can actually see it in the diagram I'm using to illustrate this. It's done when diet and exercise are no longer giving the desired results in an extremely obese patient. When life, when the obesity is not life threatening, okay. For instance, it, there are so many things that goes wrong when someone is extremely obese, or when someone is even obese. So obesity, high cholesterol, and all that is are the indications for this surgery. But it's so pathetic that in Nigeria, people do not consider the indication for this surgery anymore. As far as you have your cash, no one cares if you're obese. No one cares if, you know, you, you the, what you're presenting to is an indication. People just go for BB, B, people just go for gastric bypass for, for cosmetic reasons. I want to look good for myself. In fact, people go as far as deceiving themselves that, oh, the reason why I'm doing the surgery is because I want to feel confident in my Myself. Hello, sister. Please love yourself enough to accept yourself the way you are. I mean, that is self love. Self love has to do with you accepting yourself the way you are. It's good. Exercise and then leave the rest for God. This I want it fast, I want it fast kind of thing is has taken lives. Do you know that when a surgery, when on the process of surgery or before a surgery is conducted, you sign consent. And what is the essence of you signing consent? You are leaving the extent of that surgery to the surgeon, which means whatever that happens in the process of the surgery, you know, you have consented to the father that whatever that happens, you're already, you're willing to accept it. In a developed country, these surgeries are done for a purpose. But in Nigeria, it's done for just let me look beautiful. Even someone as slim as will go for a gastric bypass surgery. And then the issue of dragging um, a celebrity, because probably we feel that that celebrity has gone through the same process or something, doesn't really make sense to me at all. Because see... Whatever decision you, you, you're responsible for whatever decision you decide to take about your life. That is the truth. When people be, are responsible for you and when you are still a minor. But once you're 18 years and above, whatever decision you take about your life, you're responsible for it. And your not bad mother should not be dragged into this at all. Because see, she didn't sit this lady down to say, oh yeah, go for this. Yes, we know she's no more and we mind how we talk about the dead. But the truth is that I wish this would teach people lesson. Love yourself enough to accept yourself the way you are. Do the ones you can do. And if possible, stay away from surgical procedures that can be avoided. If you're, you're not obese, what are you doing for gastric bypass for? And the annoying thing of it all is that the lady involved is not even, she has good, the problem is even with the first one that happened, the first lady that lost her life as a result of BBL, she, I, I didn't even see anything that looks like fat on her body. She was looking okay, pink and all that. This particular lady also looks good because it's not everybody that will be on the slim size. 
So her, 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 everything was just okay. Her shape and all that. So I don't know what she was actually looking for. And people are saying, oh, is the celebrities that are making people to take this decision. Is the celebrities that are making people to feel inadequate about, about this. No. You feeling inadequate about yourself is your decision. Not anybody's decision. Nobody should be blamed for another person's mistake. Because the person involved is not a minor. You should know the difference between good and bad. You should know what you want for yourself. You went for that surgery because you wanted it for yourself. Yes, I know all surgery. Some people will say, oh, we're not doing it because of a man. We want to feel good about ourselves and all that. Love yourself enough to feel good about yourself no matter how you look. This is not to say, okay, if, you, if you're on the big size and you want to reduce, you shouldn't do something about it. No. But how about dieting? How about exercise? Remember, one of the indications for this surgery is when diet and exercise is not giving the required results. There are people that are extremely obese that even if they are dieting, even if they are doing exercise, nothing is working for them. That is when this surgery is considered. But in this case... This lady doesn't look obese. She has this beautiful figure that, you know, everyone will love. So what made her to indulge in this is what I cannot tell. But relating to what she did to an actress or a celebrity, because that celebrity has gone through the same procedure, is something that is not, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. I wish people would just love yourself the way you are. Accept yourself the way you are. Any man that will not take you for who you are should go to hell. It's as simple as that. I mean, how can you live your life? Like you're signing that, oh, whatever that comes up, uh, you know, during this surgery, I'm willing to take it in a surgery that is not mandatory. In a surgery that whether you do it or whether you don't do it, you will live your normal life. People go for surgery for a particular reason. Same people go for surgery for a reason. Is either that thing is life-threatening or is affecting their activities as a human. But in this case, this lady looks okay. She's not obese. She's not, doesn't look like someone that has any of the indication for this particular type of surgery. So why go in for it? And why dragging a celebrity into it? Yeah, people were like, oh, if the celebrities were not like making it look like if you're in this particular shape, you're not adequate and all that, that people will not, um, go ahead to do this kind i know there is there's influence and all that but then somebody cannot say oh this is fire and i just put my hand in fire so you too should put your hand and you go ahead and put your hand because uh, that your celebrity crush of whatever has put her hand or his hand in fire so please let's do the right thing let's value our life let's understand that surgery you're, when, when going for a surgical procedure, you're leaving the extent of the surgery to the surgeon. So anything can happen on the process and nobody should be blamed when things happen. That is the essence of that concern. If anything happened on the, on the process of this surgery, I shouldn't be blamed. And then you sign. So whatever that comes up, the surgeon should not be blamed. You know, the person that probably have gone for that surgery before should not be blamed. I just hope you got value from this video. Thank you all for supporting me and see you in my next video. Bye-bye, guys.